But you know, few people worry much about their nails beyond a manicure every now and then, but they can show signs of real trouble too. Most people aren't aware that nail melanoma even exists, but it does. And it's important for you to be aware of the risks because it could save your life. When Peggy Waters' thumbnail split open, she didn't think much of it. I just put a Band-Aid down around it to, to pull the two sides together, um, but I didn't really think anything about it. Fast forward a year and a half, and she was being treated for melanoma under her nail. It's rare, but it happens. About 1% of all melanomas occur under and around the nail, um, and it varies a bit by ethnicity, so the darker your skin, uh, the fewer melanomas you have in general, but the more likely they are to occur under and around the nail. Dr. Phoebe Rich says nail melanomas are generally painless, which is a problem because people are not aware anything is happening. There are signs to look for, though. The most common sign is a pigmented stripe in the nail. It starts as a brown or black or even gray band in the nail that starts at the cuticle and runs out to the free edge of the nail. Or the nail may split like Peggy's did. By then, the melanoma may have spread. So, what are your risk factors? UV light and sunburn plays very little role. What's more important is family history. Um, they generally occur in people over age 50, although we see them in all age groups. A history of nail trauma is also a factor. The most common digits to get it are the thumb and the big toenail. If you diagnose them early and get them off early, um, there's a very, very good chance of cure. But if you let them go and they remain undetected and undiagnosed, they're almost always fatal. They can be diagnosed during an exam with magnification and special polarized light, and in some cases, a biopsy. Peggy says she'll never wait again if she sees an issue with her nails. If I see something strange that's happening on my skin, I get it checked immediately. Uh, good thought there. Now, treatment may include removing the nail or, in extreme cases, taking off the finger or even the toe tip. It's important to have regular examinations with a dermatologist, of course, and point out any changes in your nails. Dave? Amazon is